Following a stunning ceremony in the streets of Paris, where British medal dreams crowded the competitors parade and a UK astronaut hoisted the official Games flag, the Paralympics have officially opened. This presentation took place against a sun-soaked backdrop, in contrast to the soggy Olympics opening ceremony earlier this summer. The four-hour event featured performances by French singers Christine and the Queens and Lucky Love. People with impairments were given voices through a series of short videos that chronicled their path toward self-confidence. The games were officially opened by French President Emmanuel Macron at the Place de la Concorde in central Paris, after thousands of contestants paraded down the renowned Champs-Élysées Avenue. The ceremony was witnessed by around 50,000 people on stands erected around the famous square, the largest in Paris and visible from a distance thanks to its ancient Egyptian obelisk. Following his summit in Germany, Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer landed in the city and observed from above. President Macron met him at the Elysee Palace. He was spotted grinning and waving to the Paralympics GB team, which consisted of Hannah Cockcroft and Johnny Peacock, two gold medal winners from London 2012. Asphalt strips were installed over the square and along the avenue to make it easier for athletes in wheelchairs to access the area. From Thursday until September 8, more than 4,000 athletes with mental, physical, and visual disabilities will compete in 22 sports. Over 2 million of the 2.8 million tickets for the several Paralympic events have reportedly been sold, according to the organizers. However, viewers in Britain expressed some annoyance with Channel 4's broadcast of the event, citing the constant commercial breaks that prevented certain delegations from being seen throughout the march. I know it's Channel 4, but is it really impossible to show the Paralympic opening ceremony without interruptions from adverts, a user commented on X, the previous Twitter platform. They are rude and invasive in my opinion. Another user commented, saying, not Channel 4 taking a commercial break while Sebastian Tellier was performing La Ritournelle at the opening ceremony of the Paralympics. Among the best songs ever recorded. Another person commented, I haven't been able to fully enjoy the Paralympic opening ceremony because Channel 4 has to run so many ads. Like when the Olympics debuted in the city on July 26, the opening ceremony took place outside of a stadium, however, this time, the Seine, instead of serving as the venue for the previous event, was the focal point of the ancient streets and plazas. Before the delegates filed into the square in alphabetical order, fighter planes passed overhead, leaving behind red, white, and blue clouds, the colors of the French national flag. More than 250 athletes from Brazil made up one of the largest delegations, while just three competitors from Myanmar and less than a handful from Barbados made up the smallest. A large cheer was given to the delegation from Ukraine, and some attendees rose up to join in. The delegation from the United States was led by flag bearers Steve Sirios and Nikki Nieves. The audience cheered when the French finally arrived and began singing along to well known French songs, such as Que Je T'aime by the late rock musician Johnny Halliday. A concept of inclusivity and overcoming physical differences was projected by singers, dancers, and musicians with and without impairments as they performed on stage together flawlessly throughout the program, which was directed by Thomas Jolly, who previously oversaw the Olympic opening ceremony. Wheelchair-bound artists joined French singer Lucky Love, who lost his left arm at birth. Dancers with crutches performed in other acts. The Paralympic flag was carried by British astronaut John McFall during the Games opening ceremony in Paris. Along with French sailor Damien Seguin, McFall was one of just two flag bearers that represented the whole Paralympic Games instead of just one country. McFall said he felt truly honored to be carrying the flag before the ceremony. As a Paralympian and a physically disabled member of the astronaut reserve, McFall remarked, I am truly honored to be standing here today. I like to think that being here at the ceremony this year, representing the Paralympic movement, in my new capacity at the European Space Agency, attests to and embodies its success, reach, and legacy. At the age of 19, McFall lost his right leg in a motorbike accident, which led him to pursue a career in athletics. At the 2008 Paralympic Games in Beijing, 
he took home a bronze medal in the 100 meters. He later graduated from medical school and attained the status of orthopedic and trauma expert. He was chosen by the European Space Agency to join the astronaut reserve in November 2022, making history as the first disabled person to be eligible for the position. He is working on a feasibility project and undergoing astronaut training in preparation for boarding the International Space Station. I am proud to be challenging preconceptions about the professional roles in which we should expect to see people with physical disabilities with every new step of my journey," he said. I am dedicated to contributing to the establishment of a diverse, inclusive, and opportunity-rich future for everybody. President of the International Paralympic Committee Andrew Parsons expressed his hope that the Paralympics in Paris would spark a revolution of inclusion outside of the world of athletics. When the obstacles to success are removed, the Paris 2024 Paralympic Games will demonstrate what people with disabilities can accomplish at the highest level, he declared in a speech. The astonishing thing is that in 2024, most of these opportunities will only be found in sports. It is evidence that more has to be done to promote disability inclusion in all settings, including boardrooms, concert halls, classrooms, and sports fields. Following the ceremony, Michael Jeremiah, a wheelchair tennis gold medalist from the past Olympics, led scores of torchbearers into the arena as he carried the Paralympic torch. The Olympic cauldron, shaped like a hot air balloon and glowing gold at night, was lit by five French Paralympians. About three kilometers, two miles, distant, the top of the Arc de Triomphe had the insignia of the Paralympic flag, which was hoisted high into the night sky. The event on Wednesday night began at 8 p.m. local time, but fans had gathered hours earlier in the sweltering heat to secure prime locations along the route. Volunteers danced with Paralympians, waving their national flags, while entertainers entertained the crowd on stage. The sky was illuminated with an idyllic orange glow. The Paralympic Games president, Tony Estanguit, referred to the Paralympians as immense champions who we have the honor of being with tonight. Track and field, table tennis, swimming, and taekwondo will see the first medals awarded on Thursday. To create as even a playing field as possible, athletes are classified according to their degree of handicap. The national stadium, Stade de France, will host the closing ceremony.